First Lady Clinton selected our community because of the inno many of the innovative youth programs we have initiated in Faribault. Some of those programs are the D.A.R.E. program,
Paul Wellstone, our United States Senator, believes in. And she, in on, on her own, is a marvelous mother and grandmother and a person that cares and is a dynamic person. And I am delighted to introduce Mrs. Sheila Wellstone to you. from our very special guest, Hillary Rodham Clinton. It's my honor to be on the podium with her. It's really an honor to be back in Rice County. I, my Paul and I raised our children in Northfield, just your next door neighbors. We know what a wonderful community Fairbow is. And I just want to say one thing. When Paul goes back to Washington next January to start the new Congress, we're going to send a new representative that you're going to help elect Mary Reader. Mary understands. Mary understands about working families and what it costs to make a living and to raise our children here. Mary understands the cost and what we make the real commitment to the education of our children. Mary understands that we need to protect our environment. Bill Gutnick does not understand. He understands only what Gingrich has said. So I want you all to make sure you give Mary a very warm welcome, work for her, and send her to Washington next January.
Skip Humphrey, your Attorney General, is very happy to be back here. He told me that his real love of education started right in this community at the school he attended. And I'm very pleased that Sheila Wellstone is with me. Sheila has worked very hard on the issue of domestic violence, and we must do more to educate and protect women and children in every community. And I want to extend my sympathy to this community and to the Carroll family and to wish a very speedy and full recovery to Megan. And I hope that this entire community will stand with her and with that family and also do everything it can to protect all of our children and all of our people. I also am delighted to be here with Mary Reader. Mary Reader is exactly the kind of person we need in Congress. She is somebody who understands the economy, understands how to balance the budget without hurting people, She's independent. She is much like your former member of Congress, Tim Penny, who independently and very well represented this district. Mary brings her experience as an economist and a financial planner and as a mother of four children. She also understands how important education is. So when you go to vote in November and when you talk to your family about voting, Ask them to vote for somebody who will really represent the first district of Minnesota in Washington. That is what the voters need. I just want to say a few things about why this election is important because I feel like I'm speaking to the people who will mostly be affected. This is the last election of the 20th century. We will be electing the first president of the 21st century. We have to be thinking about what is best for these young people. And we know that there are several very important tasks that we face as a nation. As my husband said in his speech in Chicago, we need to be building a bridge to the future, to these children's future, and not a bridge to the past. What we need What we need is to continue to build a strong economy. The president promised that we would have 8 million new jobs in his first term. Well, we have 10 million new jobs in the first term. rate in 28 years. People are going back to work. They're supporting their families. And finally, thanks to leaders like Paul Wellstone, the Congress agreed to raise the minimum wage so that people could be paid a decent living. So we know the economy is important, and we also know education is important. And I want to say what the President has done proposing for education because if we concentrate on education our country will do just fine. He wants to be sure every young person who needs a program like Head Start gets it so that when they get to school they are well prepared. He wants to be sure every youngster can read by the third grade. How many third graders are here? We want every boy and girl to be able to read on his or her own. We also want to be sure every classroom in America is hooked up to the information superhighway so that you can have all the information you need when you need it.